All right, guys, go to War 32 here, check it out. So I'm not exactly sure how this happened, but uh, certain people over the Internet have been watching my channel, and now they assume that I am some type of lighting specialist, or at least a flashlight uh, expert, which I am by no means not. But what I can tell you is I know when I got a good flashlight, I know when it's bright enough, I know when it's dim enough, I know when it's a piece of junk, and I know when it's something that I would recommend. All right, so what are we talking about here? This is the through night, through night TC20. This is their 3800 lumen light, and this is in cool white. And it comes in a really nice brown cardboard box <laughs> guiding you through the night. So let's do this. Uh, I, I've seen, I actually, as a precursor to this video, I literally watched probably about 10 videos. And some of these videos were like 20 minutes long. And I'm like, how in the hell can you sit there and make a video about a flashlight and make it 20 minutes long? Uh, I'm not degrading the people who did it, but I'm just saying, oh my God, are you kidding me? But anyway, uh, I learned what I needed to learn in order to give you a thorough uh, run through on what this thing is. Okay, so this is a big flashlight. Uh, let's just go ahead and cut to the chase. It is probably made in China. Uh, it is a direct competitor of our good friends over there at Olight. And uh, where is it? I've got, uh, anyway, one of my good friends, Pops Quest, he has the original Olight, which is similar to this one. And I'm waiting for, he did a review on it a long time ago. But uh, anyway, this is the Olight O0112. Uh, and look at the size of that bulb. Unbelievable. All right, so back to the chase here, because at the end of the day, guys, what I want to do is I want to create something that's entertaining and keeps you busy. But uh, in any case, here is the, uh, these are the instructions that are about in 20 different languages. And uh, as you know, uh, from any of my previous light uh, or torch torches, if you're from England, uh, flashlight reviews, I, I'm not much for uh, instructions. I mean, honestly, if you can't pick the flashlight up and figure it out, then you're in the wrong business, which I guess with that last Olight review, that's what that's what happened to me. Uh, the cool thing about this guy is it does come with a two-year warranty. Thanks for your order of through night. Uh, hope you love and have a good experience with our products. If you have any problems, please feel free to contact service at throughnight.com anytime. If you are not, if you are satisfied with our product service, can you do us a favor and write a positive product review on Amazon Store, please? Speaking of Amazon Store, if you're interested in this light, I got. I'm gonna put the link down below for it. Uh, but I'm not pressuring anybody to buy it. So anyway, we got a little deal here. This is the lanyard. There's a uh, little ring there. There's a couple of uh, replacement O-rings, plastic rings here. This is pretty cool. This is a replacement for the USB charging port on the side. And I have no idea what the hell that is, but I think that is the seal that goes below the, uh, the clicker thingy. All right, so here's the light. It comes in a box. You have a little uh, pocket thingy that you can put down. I rarely ever use these. Uh, for the most part, if I have a light, I'm going to throw it in my backpack. Now, one of the things that I have experienced, especially with some of the other lights, is if you throw it in the backpack and you open your backpack, guess what? And your light's wide open. And, and you end up with a dead battery. So the side charging uh, switches right here, uh, have I've had issues with in the past. Not to say that this guy is, but uh, it, it is what it is. All right, so in any case... Uh, the flashlight comes with a USB charging cable right here. We have a really nice lanyard loop, which I really dig. And uh, if I had a time, I'd go ahead and feed this thing through here. We'd, we'd connect it, but it's like a neoprene. It does have a tightening thing on there. Uh, not much of a tightening deal, but in any case, there it is. Put the accessory back here. Okay, so from front to back, uh, you've got a lanyard loop right there. It is a flat stand. Uh, the knurling's pretty, pretty nice. I do like that. The writing on there. The clicker here is pretty good. Uh, it is on and off. You just hold it down to go through the three levels of brightness, as you can see right there. Uh, turbo mode. Hold it down and hit it twice. 3,800 lumens, or at least that's what they say. Uh, I am not 
going to go out and purchase a light meter in order to do that. Lumens is a volume of light. It is not a uh, measurement of, well, there's you go, three click, you've got your strobe. One, two, three, four, five, Oh, wait a minute, I turned it off. One, two, three, turbo. Well, good Lord. There we go. So anyway, uh, you can click through the, the, the thing, you ought to figure it out. Uh, but the biggest thing on this guy is look how big it is. Um, is that a detriment to me? Not really, but some people look at carrying a light on a day-to-day -day basis as uh, it needs to be a little bit smaller. That's fine. If you like it smaller, you can have it smaller. There's your UP, uh, USB charging port right there. Uh, as far as I know, I've seen some people drop this thing in the bucket. Am I going to drop it in the bucket? No. Am I going to throw it across the street and try to bash it up? I'm not. I will tell you that uh, I've dropped many a light from uh, three to four feet and I've had them break. Uh, is this one of them? I don't know. The only time will tell. I'll carry this thing on a day-to-day -day basis, but I can't promise you that how many times I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it. But in any case, let's talk about it. 3800 lumen light. Uh, it's a Cree XHP 70. It's the second generation. This thing will go from a half lumen to 3800 lumens. The battery. If you guys are into the battery stuff, let's talk about that. You can go ahead and pull it into two pieces. Look at the size of that son of a gun. This is a 500 milliamp. This is a 26650, 3.7 volt. Now, I haven't done a run test on this thing to see how long it'll go. Uh, but all I can tell you is that thing's beefy. You've got two separate points here that go from front to back. There's your spring load. I can tell you right now that that's pretty nice. The knurling on this thing is, uh, in my mind, uh, pretty nice. I do like it. Uh, it does have a Type 3 anodization. But in any case, you can go ahead and pull that apart. You can see the electronic in there like there. Uh, you know, what else can I say about this thing? Hell, well, shit, I'm running on seven minutes right now. Uh, now that I've got the thing wholly taken apart, now I'm like, which side goes to which? I'm thinking that that goes there. Wouldn't it be funny if you could turn it around? You can if you... Well, no, you can't. Okay, so that's good. I bet nobody else did that in their video. In any case, go ahead and you put this thing through night. I don't know if there's what the deal is with replacement batteries as of yet. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, like I said, I've been running this thing for a little while, and uh, I took it to a camping trip. I did a comparison between this and the Olight. I wasn't able to figure out how was the uh, the turbo in comparison with the Olight turbo, but we will do that. Now, this is the first part of it, and here in a few minutes, we're going to take this thing outside. I'm actually going to sit out at the range. And uh, we're going to see how bright these this thing is and uh, see if it can capture at 100 yards. I notice a lot of these guys that say, well, a throw of 300 meters. That's BS. That's a throw of 300 meters if they got a piece of reflective tape down there. Oh, look, we can see the tape. Anyway, one of the things I am impressed with, two-year warranty. Any problems with this thing, you email them. And from the majority of the folks that I've, I've seen, uh, what's going on in the market. They've not had any issues with these things. There's uh, a couple channels like the Survival Outdoor 101. He said that between this light, the Through Night, and the Olight are his two favorite carry day carries. All I can tell you is that I usually just throw them in a backpack. Uh, I've had one specific light, the Thor, Thor light, or whatever it is, that thing for five or six years, and I've never had a problem out of it, paid $29. This thing is $89. $89, folks. So with that being said, nice little clicker. It does have a little LED light right there. I don't know if you can see it. That comes on uh, when it is on. I'm not sure why you would need that, but it is pretty cool. There is a charging indicator. Uh, well, yeah, it, it's probably more or less for the charging indicator. But anyway, that's it. That is my uh, tabletop version. Let's get out outside and see what this thing does out there. And then uh, we'll go like that. Let's go to Boy32. Here we go. All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the range. Uh, I'm at my 50-yard range. 
And what we are looking at here is the uh, TC20 from Through Night. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, there's over there, that's the 50 yard. You can barely see it. And then back there is the 100 yard. Now, let's go ahead and cycle through. So that's low. This is medium. And that's high. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to go turbo. So we double click. And there you go. There's the 50 yard and the 100 yard is way back there. I can see it, but you're having a little bit of difficulty seeing it with the camera. Um, triple click. Well, there's the, uh, <laughs> da, da, da. there's the uh, strobe effect. You can see all the bugs in the air. Welcome to summertime. But in any case, that's high. And there's the turbo. So you could, this is more of a floodlight, I would say, than it is a direct beam. Let's go ahead and compare that with the O light. Hold on one second. We'll go ahead and bring this guy out. There's O light. We'll cycle through. One, two, th two, three, one, two. All right, there's three. And that's their turbo version. The O light's got a little bit more of a direct beam. But I would have to say, if you brought them side by side, what do you think? Which one's brighter? It's not that it's just brighter, it's which one uh, has more volume, I would say. But in any case, that's it. That is the TC20 from Through Night. Not a bad light.